When Moomintroll, Snufkin and Sniff returned from the lonely mountain, bringing with them the tall black hat, everyone else had already had their breakfast. Only Moomin Popper was left, reading his newspaper. Look, Popper, said Moomintroll, a beautiful new hat for you. Ah. <laughs> Popper tried it on very carefully. It was rather too big for him. Mama, screamed Moomin Troll, come and look at Papa. Oh, how do I look? asked Moomin Papa. Hmm, said Moomin Mama. Yes, you look very handsome, of course, but I almost think you look more dignified without a hat. So they put the hat on the floor, and Papa said it would make a very good waste bin. Eat your eggs, children, said Moomin Mama. You certainly need feeding up after living on pine needles all winter. Ooh, lovely breakfast, said Sniff. Ooh, I love eggs, said Snufkin. Me too, said Moomin Troll. <laughs> So they ate their eggs, and like tidy moomins, when they'd finished, threw their eggshells into the hat and went out. Then something really strange happened. The eggshells began to change into soft, woolly white clouds. The hat was magic. It truly belonged to the hobgoblin. The clouds looked just like smoke. What's this? said Snufkin. The snout maiden thought the house was on fire. Cautiously, she patted the nearest one. Just like a little pillow, said Snufkin. Sniff gave one of the clouds a gentle push and disappeared into it. Let me try, said the snout maiden. Then they all threw themselves onto the clouds. They had terrific fun, even floating up to the treetops and past the Moomin house. Yoo-hoo! Mama! What have you found now, said Moomin Mama. Be careful you don't fall down. Snufkin played a floating song and they glided on over the valley where they could see the Hamulin wandering alone in a very sad mood. Sniff dive on them. Oh, God, oh, how you frightened me, cried the Hemulin. Look what we're riding on, said Sniff. Oh, really, said the Hemulin, I'm so used to your extraordinary doings that nothing surprises me. Besides, I'm too melancholy to be interested. I have nothing to do. Why not study nature, suggested the young Moomins. What a day, that's it, exclaimed the Hemulin. That's what I'll do, I'll collect plants. Oh, Floriat! Snufkin played on, and the young Moomins drifted across the spring sky, feeling like butterflies in the breeze. Perhaps it's a sign, thought Moomin Troll, as the first real butterfly of spring fluttered past. A sign of something strange. But by this time, everyone else was feeling hungry. So they steered their clouds for home, where Moomin Papa and Moomin Mama were anxiously waiting. And nobody knew that the clouds had had anything at all to do with the Hobgoblin's hat. Mm -hmm.